Robin, congratulations. Look, you're through to the quarterfinals. Clean sheet. Really blistering performance. Look, you look like you were in control from start to finish. Is that how it felt to you? Think, uh, yeah, I think uh, the start obviously helps a lot. Uh, but I think uh, we, we, we were patient in the beginning and obviously when we scored the two goals, it gives us a little bit of a cover, knowing that they need to come a little bit more. But I think uh, we controlled the, the game and we had a few chances also in the second half. And I think the, the second half was a little bit less, but I think understandable with all the games we played with a 4-0 with a aggregate uh, that it was a little bit less. You were on the score sheet today um, and this is a team that you know has actually gone a lot of the season without you know a central striker focal point. How does that all work for you guys as a team? How do you make it work? Well, I don't know. I think uh, obviously we, we we try to make the movements into the box when uh, when we arrive up front and it's uh, different plays in different areas. Uh, so I think sometimes it's difficult, but I think even when Gabi or Kun plays, it's a little bit similar. Obviously, they're more named as a striker, but they, they do the same job. So uh, if they're there or not, uh, we try to maintain the, a good shape and come in uh, good positions. 11 and a half hours now in the Champions League without conceding. And that's really, really impressive. How important is that side to City's game this season in all competitions? Well, I think it's always important when you're stable as a defence and a, as a team. Um, obviously, uh, it gives uh, the whole team confidence and it's really nice for, the, for Eddie and for the defenders. You know, they are there to try and stop the goal. Uh, and um, I think the, the guys up front and in the middle try to stay in shape to help them whenever we can. And, uh, you know, it's, it's easier when we don't concede for us. It's always easier when you don't concede. There's no question about that. Uh, Kevin De Bruyne, another outstanding display, as we, we've learned to expect. Yeah, this is normal procedures for him. I mean, listen, since he came back from injury, he's probably hadn't had the rhythm that he had before the, he got injured, but he's, he looked today that he got straight back into the groove. And, yeah. I mean, the, the goal off his left foot without a, a touch to set it, first time mm. right in the top corner. I mean, he's a fabulous player. He's, he's one of the best in the world, isn't he? Yeah, definitely. His, his consistency yeah. uh, has been remarkable <laughs> since he's been at the club. And, yeah. As I said, his contribution, goals, assists, it's, you're just running out of yeah. things to say. I suppose if it weren't for the injury, he's been out a little while, he would have been right up there as well, probably for player of the year. Still might be, who knows? Yeah, the definitely. time is finished. I think if he has a, a strong contribution towards the end of the season, he's definitely in the yeah. conversation. What's his best position? I think he just finds space. You know, <laughs> he's just, he can play anywhere, he can. Yeah. Um, and I think he works even better now with Bernardo Silva and Gundogan and Phil. They're mm. all kind of on that... Riyad Mahrez on that same wavelength mentally. You know, they just feel the game so well and they all just rotate the positions. I think it makes it impossible to mark. I think if they were playing behind me and I was in front, we, we'd probably be arguing all the time about yeah. who had to pick up who because yeah. it'd always be somebody different. Well, what's the great thing about this City team is they don't play in any conventional positions. You normally got a striker number nine and two wide players yeah. at the moment. A lot of teams play 4 3 3. Do you or... mind if I interrupt you? I wouldn't normally yeah, interrupt you, but no if you look over my shoulder, you, you might see why because um, Pep's uh, waiting to talk Can't to us um, waiting. Pep, enhorabuena um, great performance from your team tonight you, you made it look very easy, you must be delighted yeah sometimes it looks very easy afterwards so <laughs> uh, yeah, it was, uh, yeah it was a good uh, performance under control 90 minutes from the beginning we arrived here with a good result 0-2, we cannot deny it but uh, you know this competition has tricky but it was so serious, and after the two magnificent goals, everything was easier. And uh, but the way we play was again really, really good. Everyone in his position moved the ball quick. Uh, when they close inside, we have the options to put wide with Phil and Riyadh, and when they are more wider, so we can play inside. And a lot of players with a good quality, with that don't lose the ball. That is what we need. And uh, and the three left footers with Riyadh and Phil and. And Bernardo helped us a lot to give the continuity, the pass, an extra pass, and the right moment attack. But everyone was so commitment and, yeah, delight to be in next stage. It's inevitable, really, that people talk about the Champions League because it's, it's not quite happened for you before. But you go into the quarterfinals, Pep, with 706 minutes without conceding a goal. That is a very stable position, isn't it? Defensively, you look stronger this season, perhaps, than the last two years where you've had shootout games almost. 
Yeah, right, right. So we could see just one goal against Oporto that is quite impressed. And uh, we cannot deny that uh, Ruben and John <coughs> make an incredible step uh, forward for the team. But I mean, now he's back again, and especially Kyle. Kyle is back again in his best moment. So uh, we need, we need this. Uh, but everyone, everyone plays, runs a lot, not just the people from behind, the strikers and and the people in the middle. So, but the important is the, the understand that we defend with the ball. That is the most important thing. But we cannot deny when they arrive, we are solid enough. But what happened in the past is the past. You know, in quarterfinals, the one bad game, bad moments, bad moments, bad minutes, uh, they can punish you. But the quality right now, all the teams will be will be so big. Hi, Pepis Rio. Um, just a quick one on the, the scars that you may have had in previous years in the Champions League. Um, mentally, losing games at a knife edge and last minute goals being disallowed. Is that easy to get out of the players' minds and, and, and for them to be able to step forward into this phase, into the new, new competition? In the previous season, I didn't see the team. They didn't want to make a step forward. So every time we play, even the group of stage or last 16, we want to want to go through. You want to be honest now, in my mind today, no, but tomorrow is Everton. But uh, and after international break, we'll have time to think. It depends on the draw of the team. But yeah, now the eight best teams in Europe and the quality every time is higher and uh, it is more difficult. But hopefully they can maintain this mood, the team, <laughs> and, uh, and we can compete. Uh, and especially to a good game. So I don't know. Always I believe that uh, when you go through, it's because you deserve it, and you have to play a good game. So uh, we are right there and and try to to play good. And after we will see what happens. Fighting in four different competitions at the moment, Pep. How important is it that you do have uh, very few injuries? You have a really strong squad to go with because so many matches are coming up. No, it's impossible without having now have 20 players, everybody fit. That's why we can rotate six, seven players most of the games. And today was seven players didn't play against Fulham. So if you want to compete with four competitions, you have to rotate and everybody be involved and be fresh. Not just physicality, mentally. The seasons are so long. The guys don't make recovery in the summertime. We go to European Cup and after three weeks, they start a new season. And we didn't have one long week since October, September, October. So, and that's why everybody involved. And everybody is uh, generous and everybody is in good mood. And thinking in the team, in the club, more than welcome. And they will have their minutes. And after that, of course, the performance, everyone, make uh, the games, take a decision which ones we need to, to play. The last game against Fulham, we played with two strikers, proper strikers today without them. And in both games, the team was solid and play a good, good games. And this is the most important thing. <laughs> I just want to ask you one thing tactically, um, Pep, because it's something that I've been interested in. We've all been talking about um, over the last uh, season or two is, is the positioning of João Cancelo when he moves into that midfield area, even though he's playing at left back. Um, obviously, you did that at Bayern Munich, I think, with, with Kimmich quite a lot. Um, what, what made you think of that in the first place? Where did that come from, the idea? It's come from Germany. That they won't lose a ball, they kill you in the counter attack when our footballs were wider. So, this is one of the reasons why I learned this. In Barcelona, have more controls in the game with the incredible players that we have, and they need uh, three guns and 100 bullets to, to lose one ball. And it was not impossible to lose them both. In Germany, it was completely different, and they run. And, uh, but the main reason is to have more players in the middle to pass the ball. This is the main reason. You have control maybe when you lose it, but the main reason is have more players, four, five, six players, to make a short passes and more and more control. This is the only reason why. Everyone, uh, we did it with Fabian Delft to the year with 100 points. It was incredible with Alex Inchenko as well. And you all have this quality to do it. Of course, not all the fullbacks can can play in this position. Last game against Fulham, for example, we play with Mendy, and Mendy is a guy who has to play in the sides. It depends on the skills. And we adapt the quality of the players and, and the way we want to play. But in, in the big concept is how, is we defend with the ball. We have to have the ball as much as possible and be aggressive when we don't have it, be incredible aggressive everyone, and with the ball a lot of passes and passes and passes. Because the situations come, the chances come after the process. Uh, when we are looking forward to create chances immediately, that is not good. And that's why we have a lot of players in the middle to create these kind of situations. You certainly do that, um, Pep. Um, muchas gracias para hablar con nosotros y que tengas mucha suerte. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.
Um, interesting on that tactical... Showing off there, wouldn't you? <laughs> Well, a little bit. The language. You played in Spain or something? Uh, that, that might have done a long time ago, before you were born, probably. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it's, it's interesting on the tactical side of it, how some players can play in that position and some players can't. I've always wondered where he perhaps got that idea and why. Yeah, and, and it's, it's interesting. He says there's certain players that can and can't play in there and he, he picks them accordingly. It's like Carl Walker. Carl Walker, even yeah. today, once we were all saying that, can he play in there? No. He got one ball in the middle of the pitch, mm. lost the ball, and obviously he, he plays in particular positions mm. for a certain reason. Yeah. So, but he's obviously identified players when he recruits them and says they're able to play that role yeah. and carry out what I want. So, I mean, when, when he does that, it's something new in our league. He's yeah. done it in, in, in Germany, but it's yeah. new here and teams aren't being able to deal yeah. with it. Well, there's not many new things in football. It's hard to invent them. They've all been around. I suppose you can invent things a little bit differently because of the players, playing surfaces in the modern game. In my time, there's no way you could get away with playing out in your own box from the back because if you just bobble and you'd lose it, you have no chance. But it is interesting to see how the game does evolve. Oh, of course, yeah, and it is unique to see. And there's a lot of teams that are trying to do it that possibly shouldn't and players that shouldn't be doing it. But when you get it right, it's, it's epic to watch and it's a joy. I think it's safe to say continue their quadruple <laughs> quest of being 2-0 up in this leg game, 4-0 overall. And... Uh, Two absolutely sumptuous goals in different ways, but um, yeah. top quality. Stuff. Loads to admire about both. Very different, but yeah. the quality was for, for all to see. The beautiful way in which Foden takes the ball on the first one before he supplies the assist. And it's just the rhythm of the game. They controlled mm. the whole rhythm. Every, every part of the game, they just look, looked in supreme yeah. control. Beautiful I, to watch. I had a little bit of sympathy for Bruce Hughes and Gladbach's players. It must be so hard playing against this side when, you, when you're just clearly not at that level. Yeah, from a defensive point of view, having no one to mark and then just be in space mm. and then seeing runners coming at you from all angles it's it must be intimidating to mark and, and pick up and obviously in the match yeah. to be able to stop it yeah let's start with the um, de bruyne goal you get the pleasure of talking us through this one oh in st stunning strike well we've we've been talking about it and just you know the positions they're picking up you know see de bruyne's that almost as a false nine there and speaking about maras and his touch and just the time the patience that they have you know they're just waiting for the moment where they go then Mara spins there, and then De Bruyne is at the edge of the box. No pressure on the ball. It's just, it's just, a, it's a beauty. Just to watch everything mm. about it. It's just, as Ree said, in complete control at all times, and the clinical. They get in here, bang! It's in the back of the net. From a, from a defensive point of view, though, like they're, they're, not, they're not doing much wrong there. They're yeah. all in positions. Maybe the, the, one of the yeah. players can come out a little bit quicker. But even there, if I'm a defender behind it, I'm asking on his weak foot, yeah. coming across him yeah. first time without <laughs> setting himself. Half let him have a Sometimes, shot. Sometimes, I suppose, as a defensive unit, you just have to put your hands up and go. Yeah, great that, goal. That's one nothing of you moments. can do. Yeah. That was and, and, and the second one, that was a, a great move right yeah. from the back. It was John Stones nipped it into Foden <laughs> and that turn. Yeah, there's a lot of elements that you wouldn't necessarily coach, encourage. Yeah. Like straight balls into midfield, uh, but a great turn. And then he runs forward and the pass there, he knows where he is. He knows where to play the ball. And again, a ridiculous, Love ridiculous goal. first touch, but... I think the, the turn, the, we were talking before about playing for England and where would Foden play if he was going to fit in. He's shown you today, he can play in that deeper position oh, centrally definitely. because the way he receives the ball and turns, that's what you want in national level, especially in this top level, to turn and turn a, a semi-conservative position into an attacking position and a goal opportunity. This touch, guys. Couldn't do it, honestly. He's... Would you coach to take a touch like that or let it come across but your body? But it's just feeling, yeah. that's the point. I think Pep gives them ideas uh, and then they got to decide, but... Yeah. Fold and Gunda one just the run and the touch. And the problem is they're all, because they don't have a centre forward and they're coming from all over, as Jolien said, you can't pick, it's, they're hard to pick up. Yeah. It's great to watch, though, isn't it? And yeah. it's great to watch the versatility and the different ways that they play. Yeah, and that's the thing. When you've got so many options and so much fluidity, it's, it's new. A lot of the, the patterns and styles, yeah. it's new to watch and it's exciting to, to see. Yeah.